Hello everyone, I'm It's Best to Be a Blessing and this is a reading for my Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Today is December the 28th, 2023 and these are the tarot messages that I got for you guys today. With that being said, um, let's get into it. First and foremost, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, then the Death card. Seven of Pentacles represents where you have planted seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. Something that you planted seeds for, you see the growth of it, and you're gonna everything is gonna become to fruition for you guys. I see you getting the victory in regards to some situation within your life. With the death card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio individual. You could be putting an ending to situations, relationships, um, different things, things that you're just cutting out of your life. Um, with all endings, always come new beginnings. The next card, you have the Cherry card, you have the Temperance card, and the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going to be hitting head, things head on. You're going to be dealing with the Sagittarius individual, but I do see um, things balancing out for you, especially with the Ten of Cups. That's emotional fulfillment and happiness is what I'm seeing. All right, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is you paying close attention to detail in regard to your finances and things of that sort. But fire signs, you don't miss out on any details at all because you're always paying close attention to everything. The Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card. So you could have been wishing for something, and now's the time you're going to receive it. So congratulations on that. Four stars lets me know that you need to get some rest. You need to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Some of you can deal with an air sign individual or you have air in your chart. I feel like somebody could be telling somebody off with the queen of swords. With the queen of swords, she speaks her mind. You understand what I'm saying? She says what you mean. It means what you say. Then we can be dealing with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is you receive and you're on the right path. For something that you're working hard for is going to pay off for you. It's, and some of y'all going to be beginning some new beginnings. But hopefully you all be beginning some new things in the new year. Okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. You can be dealing with the Earth sign. Or you can have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. Um, okay. With the bunny on the picture saying that you're going to be birthing out some things. That's going to bring in a lot of finances for you as well. With the two of wands, you're at a crossroads in your life, trying to make a decision about something. Also, be about work because the eight of pentacles is coming up behind it. Um, but mostly, you've been working extremely hard, honing your crafting your skill, doing what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be. I feel like you're manifesting a lot of great things within your life with the nine of pentacles. There are definitely blessings in store for you, fire signs. Okay, with the five of pentacles, somebody's feeling left out in the cold here. Um, and it has to be in regard to some type of finances. Somebody could always have their hand out or this or that in regard to something that's, that's not even theirs. But you've been standing your strength in regard to the situation. So now they feel like you've been keeping to the curve. You have the Emperor here, which is the Aries card. Um, standing your ground in regard to whatever this heavy load is. You've been carrying a heavy load here and carrying a heavy load for a very long time. Is what I'm seeing with this Ten of Wands. Um, there's a lot of, okay, things that have been done that are kind of like done in the dark. Somebody could be trying to steal something from you, stab you in the back, you know, doing some fuck foul shit in the background, all right? But I feel like you're going you're gonna to figure this out or it's going to come to you and you're going to be like, uh-huh, you're going to have an aha uh -huh moment. You're going to move on from that situation. And when you do, you're going to be extremely happy with the sun, sun card, which is the Leo card as well. I see here three of wands, your ships is coming in on a rising with the knight of pentacles. Um, there could be an earth sign coming towards you, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, individual. And I see here you've been fighting a good fight, is what it's saying, with the seven of um, seven of wands. I always know that when you have wands down here, this is this is you with your wands standing up there, but all these wands is is um yeah people that you've been fighting up against or situations or things like that some of you need to stop worrying about situations you know give it to spirit and let them work it out for you i mean it is what it is be wise in regard to the situation and know that everything is going to work out in your favor this is giving money giving and receiving of money and i do believe money 
because you have the Ten of Pentacles coming in as well. The Ten of Pentacles is the highest card you can get, like with your finances. So get ready for your blessings to be bestowed upon you in regard to that. Whatever you work your hard for is going to pay out for you. But it's a business video, new business, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you worked hard for, it's paying out for you. Sorry about the glare of my light, you guys. If you're wondering what that is, but um, it's my light. <laughs> anyway, that's the Ten of Pentacles. I see here you're very guarded. You're always supposed to be very guarded, especially because with the Devil card coming up right behind that, that represents uh, being guarded in regard to um, people that could be looking sketchy or something like that. You know, you got to make sure that you don't fall for the okie duck when it comes to something. Uh, somebody could be trying to distract you here. Um, you could be overindulging in some things you shouldn't be. You need to get a grip on it. But basically, it's the devil card. That's a temptation card out there every day. The two of pentacles, weighing your options in regard to finances. But for some reason, they're telling me you, somebody could be trying to weigh the option in regard to um, two people here. Um, the world card is plenty of changes coming in for you guys. And this fiery energy is right here. You're very passionate about everything that you do. The Queen of Wands, the Leo said it's here, and Aries, that's you. Uh huh. The red means that you're definitely going to prosper in this situation. With the King of Pentacles, you have a lot of Pentacles in your reading. That means y'all about to be blessed this new year that's coming in. It could have already started coming in already. You have the Ace of Cups, that's uh, windows of opportunities and and doors opening up for you guys. I see a lot of communication and traveling coming in. So you have the high priestess that's coming out for you. So high priestess is a card of you paying close attention to the, everything that takes place in your life, but using that intuition to know, like, should I go for this deal or should I not go for this deal? Is this the right thing for me or is it not? That's what the, use your intuition regarding to everything within your life. Let me see if I can get some of that glare off the card, but that's what this card represents. Using your intuition regard to everything within your life. Okay, you guys. Your last and final card is the Empress card. Let's you know that somebody could be pregnant or birthing out something new and exciting. And this has been a very wonderful reading, you guys. If you like this reading, please thumbs it up, you guys. If you're new here, thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my video. If you like your own personal tarot card reading, you can always call me anytime, 347-227-5723. With that being said, y'all have a truly blessed day, fire signs. Thanks.